Ashto T312 covers the compaction of cylindrical specimens of hot mix asphalt using the super paved gyratory compactor, which we will refer to using the initials SGC. In this tutorial, we will not demonstrate mixture preparation, but instead focus on the compaction procedure. SGCs are powerful and molds are heated to dangerous temperatures. Take appropriate safety precautions when performing this procedure. There are various designs and brands of SGCs suitable for this procedure. We'll be using the Troxler 5850. Other equipment will include specimen molds, suitable containers, and a thermostatically controlled oven capable of maintaining the temperature required for mixture conditioning. SGCs require periodic calibration. Refer to the manufacturer's manual for calibration procedures. As a testing technician, you may not be personally responsible for calibrating the machine, but you should always make certain that it has been calibrated according to applicable specifications before use. Before molding a sample, the material must be conditioned according to governing specifications. Oklahoma's special provision requires a mixed design sample prepared in the laboratory to be conditioned at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for not less than two, nor more than four hours before molding. Field samples should be uniformly heated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for no more than four hours. Place the mold assembly in the oven along with the sample during the conditioning period. Molds and plates must be heated for a minimum of 30 minutes prior to compaction. When the sample is properly conditioned, warm up the SGC. Verify the machine settings are correct and lubricate bearing surfaces according to the manufacturer's instructions. Remove the mold assembly from the oven once the compaction temperature is achieved. With the base plate in the mold, place a paper gasket in the bottom. Fill the mold in a single lift, taking care to avoid segregation. Level the mix and place another paper gasket on top of the material. If the SGC does not include an upper plate on the ram, place the upper plate into the mold according to the manufacturer's instructions. Carefully load the filled mold into the compactor according to the manufacturer's instructions. Verify that the pressure applied on the specimen will be 600 kilopascals and the internal angle is set to 1.16 degrees. Enter the number of gyrations required from the mix design. When the gyrations are completed, remove the mold according to the manufacturer's instructions. Some mixes can be extruded immediately, but others may require a brief cooling period to avoid damaging the specimen. Remove the paper discs from the top and bottom of the specimen. If the mold is to be reused, return it to the oven for a minimum of five minutes. Calculate the density according to OHD L14. For more details on the most recent specifications, consult the latest Ashto publication, which may be ordered by calling 202-624-5800 or online at transportation.org.